halfway. Halfway? Yeah. Like to the full amount or to? To the seven and a half. Uh, I don't know. Well, what the Dan Morgan means is a bunch of guys, uh, former golfers that come back and reconnect and uh, really spend some quality time on the course and, and have uh, a great time and um, play a little golf and, and uh, just enjoy the day and enjoy uh, the greatest thing football. about the Dan Morgan golf fighting is being able to get everybody reconnected, the alumni from all different eras. We've got guys here from the 50s all the way up to just a couple of years ago, and it's just a lot of fun to get together and laugh a lot and reminisce and and uh, all for a good cause to raise money for Gopher Baseball. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the Dan Morgan. The uh, Dan Morgan for me is uh, six hours of constant entertainment, <laughs> uh, especially with my uh, group of uh, Mike Casey and Pat Pavelko and Carson and Coach Loberg. It is six hours of extreme entertainment. Thanks for coming. <laughs> We're here with Mike Casey at the Dan Morgan. Uh, Mike, why don't you go ahead and share a few words with us? Well, I faced Dan Morgan uh, a number of times as a pitcher, and uh, he was a a good competitor, but he was even a classier person. So, a tournament like this, I can see why it endures all the years because of uh, and keeping his name alive. The Gopher baseball program is just a special thing. So, I'm just honored to be able to tee it up. In his We're here with Tim Loberg, uh, former teammate of Dan Morgan. Tim, go ahead and share your thoughts about Dan Morgan and this golf tournament. Well, first of all, Dan Morgan was one of the classiest guys you'd ever want to meet. Great pitcher. He had ice water in his veins, um, college World Series, tie game with Baylor, full count, rain pouring down, bases loaded, opportunity to lose the game with one missed pitch. He strikes the guy out, we go to the next day to come back and win the ball game. That's the kind of guy that Dan Morgan was. This tournament is a great tribute to him, and I'm, I haven't missed one yet, and I don't plan on missing one. He's a great guy. All right, well, anyway, I'm Brad Barkley. I uh, got to fish with Dan Morgan. I was a pitcher there, and uh, I tell you what, uh, I, there was no way that I was going to be able to simulate any kind of uh, submarine pitches like Dan, so it was hard getting advice and learning some of the riser pitchers he used to have and some of the crazy pitches he threw, but uh, we really missed him, and he was a heck of a guy and uh, one of our better pitchers of all time at the U. Unfortunately, I had to face him in the batting cages once in a while in the winter, and he was impossible to hit. Arms and legs flopping everywhere, but just a great guy, always a smile on his face, and we miss him. Morgan Memorial Golf Event is a fantastic event. Uh, we get to see a lot of our old alumni, in my case, and more importantly, we're golfing for a great cause. This is a fantastic golf tournament. Got a lot of a lot of golfers coming back. It's a lot of fun to catch up with people, and uh, it's a lot of fun to come back to this tournament and meet with some guys you haven't seen in a while. Being a golfer alum is is the greatest thing in the world, and wouldn't miss it for the world. We're here with Dustin Clabundi, uh, current right-hand pitcher for the Gophers. Dustin, tell me a little bit about your experience today at the Dan Morgan. Uh, well, it was a fun time. Uh, nice day for it. And uh, it was great to see the turnout we had with the uh, past players, support staff, and just other people who supported Gopher baseball. Um, overall, it was a fun 
experience. I can tell a lot of people are having fun. And, uh, it's a positive experience overall. Great to see the turnout.